Are you looking for a great way to shower your friends and family with love this Valentine's Day? Then this is a video for you. We are going to be building the ultimate board for Valentine's Day. So if we are just meeting, my name is Jordan and this is Amazing Gray's board. And on this channel, I do what I love. I build charcuterie boards and I share them with my friends and family. I figured I'd share it with you. So if you like content like this, consider subscribing. I do these once a week and get to share my love of meat and cheese with you all. Okay, let's get started with our brie. So what I'm doing is just using a heart-shaped cookie cutter and I am getting this beautiful heart-shaped brie ready for when I start to place. This is a blueberry vanilla goat cheese. So I'm using a cheese slicer so that I get these really beautiful crisp cuts. So I use the best pieces that I found, the cleanest cuts for the board. And here I am just getting some ramekins ready where I, I usually start with ramekins or the main cheeses first because that is the biggest space filler. So one of them, I put in an olive tapenade and then the other heart ramekin is some honeycomb that I had from my local store. So now I am trying to figure out where I want to place some of the fruits. So here I have whole strawberries and then I also cut them lengthwise to fit and just get that beautiful inside look and organic feel to it. I did add the Humboldt Fog cheese so it was like a small perfect slice for the board and then I'm adding the heart-shaped crackers that I have, as well as some Trader Joe olive and fig crackers on the lower right. So now I begin to start to add some of the salami. So this is a hard cured salami, and then I'm putting the figs right next to it. I tried to put the foods and the fruits next to the best um, placements, like those go really great with the humble fog, so that's why I put those there. And then I have some beautiful green grapes. They were crisp and crunchy, they were really good. Um, so I'm also putting, I was feeling out if I wanted to add a different cracker, but here I ended up putting some blackberries just around the other side of the heart brie. So I added um, on the other side of the honeycomb, these crisp wafer crackers, and then some dried apricots on the other side. And here I'm folding in quarters the uh, flat, salami that is foldable so i was able to do this pretty little river of salami there and the cheese that i'm putting down is a cheddar cheese so it's actually unexpected cheddar from trader joe's so that one crumbles up really nicely and it's easy to pick up with like a little toothpick which i'll have in a second i started to do these like rolls with the prosciutto but they just didn't look right so i figured i would kind of fold into ribbons in this area just to fill it out and have another meat option here so now I'm just trying to figure out the decorative side of it. So I used time, I tried to move it around, I just felt like the color wasn't popping. So I end up finally using uh, rosemary. So I, you'll see the rosemary pop up. And everything that I've used or I can find, I will definitely link below the ramekins, all of the ingredients will be listed so that if you do like this, you can find those in the description. But here it is, here is this beautiful, super delicious board for Valentine's Day, whether it's for you and a date or you and your family. It was so good and I cannot wait for you guys to try it. So I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.